I mean, the, the thought that I have uh, about the plaque is Mary was uh, a shy person. Uh, she was a people's person, and I think that's what we're honoring. Yeah, I think that the plaque is certainly a symbol, uh, a symbol of, of community, con a symbol of support, uh, a symbol of the, that will be there hopefully long after we're around. Well, my first thoughts are always about love. That's the first thing. And for me today, it's actually been quite emotional for me. Uh, seeing the plaque, seeing her name, it really actually moved me quite profoundly. Uh, I was surprised after so many years that you never know, but uh, it really hit me pretty hard actually. Seeing all the people, all the people that are there, all the love that's been manifested uh, for Mary and for others who have suffered from cancer. Putting it into the sidewalk, we know that the sidewalks last about 50 years, so we know it will be uh, there for a long time. And over $2 million in 15 years has been huge in terms of our average grants that we give for research are $75 to $100,000, so you can figure, you know, they funded somewhere 20 to 25 different researchers in the state of Maine. Not many people knew that uh, Maine is the home of many world-class research institutions that are participating in the fight against cancer. And what Mary's Walk does is give those bench researchers an opportunity to test their theories and there have been great successes in the last 15 years. Uh, working with Maine Cancer Foundation is really special for us. I think the fact that all of the money that is raised stays in Maine. And Without Mary's Walk, you know, I'm not even sure if they would have been a Maine Cancer Foundation because they were really the backbone of the organization providing a, a steady stream of income for many, many years. The second hat I'm wearing is representing Sockwell and Biddeford Savings Institution. I'm pleased to let you know that the bank's 15-year contributions to Mary's Walk total over $50,000. Every year we hear stories of people who've made it their goal to live for the next Mary's Walk and walk in the next Mary's Walk. So there are a lot of things that touch the heart uh, and touch the soul. And that's the reason we keep coming back. I also would like to note that our Public Works Director, Pat Fox, is here. And this would never have happened if it wasn't for his crew. Mary holds the honor of being the first person memorialized in the Saco sidewalks. <laughs> well, I think if you look at the number of departments that participate in this, public works, the police department, uh, the other first responders being the fire department, it means quite a bit when you have some of these gentlemen come in and work. Some of them work without even being paid. They volunteer. It takes a tremendous amount of, of pre-race and pre-walk organization to make sure everybody stays safe. It's a beautiful plaque. If you're ever in downtown Saco, you need to stop by and, uh, and uh, take a visit. It was really uh, pretty neat to know that she's probably looking down on us and, and happy that we've, um, we've, tra we've transformed something that was painful and difficult and hard into something that, was, that is really loving and um, and important to a lot of people. The third hat I'm wearing is a cancer survivor. I'm celebrating my third year anniversary. This experience has humbled me beyond words. We can either choose to help or simply walk away. I want to personally thank you for extending your hand and committing to such an amazing fundraising event. The first thought that comes into my mind is that she would be saying bad things about me for having her on the sidewalk in downtown Saco uh, because she wasn't she wasn't one for recognition the whole thought of Mary's walk uh, I think is really foreign to the type of person she was but it's uh, she was a people's person and I think that's what we're honoring I have known Mary uh, a good portion of my life we were part of a large extended family uh, and we spent a lot of time together in her younger years 
and she and her family and my family all did a lot of fun things together. You know, she's been gone for a long, a long time, since 1997, but it feels like she passed away yesterday, so sometimes it's very emotional to recognize her loss when we're together. Today, I'm happy for the city of Saco that they can experience this. I'm happy that it's going to continue in a, uh, a tangible way that people will be able to look and see and, and say, who was Mary Carey Libby? Joe, you, you know, you can relate to love. And it's very difficult in this kind of crass society we live in, this kind of, uh, you know, materialistic society. And we don't often relate to things, but we need human love.